Welcome back to Talk To Me With The Coach. It's your boy Dre Lowry, your favorite Sigma Eskimoses. Still out here in full-fledged baseball mode. It's MLBL tournament. I got two of the coaches from one of these out-of-state teams. Introduce yourself to my Chicago crowd. Reggie Tatum from North Carolina. Andre Barnes from North Carolina. North Carolina, huh? Yes, sir. Nice little expressway ride, huh? Oh, yeah. How was it? Well, we actually flew up there. Ooh, you got a nice program. Okay, so you all flying. That's what I like to hear. So uh, what, what set of kids do you have up here? This is our eight U coach pitch group. Okay, how long you guys been together? For two years. We started them out at seven, and this is their second year. We went to Orlando last year when MJBL had it down there. Mm -hmm. So we, once we went down there, we decided we wanted to follow them up to Chicago. Okay, how's the trip been so far? Oh, it's been wonderful. The flight was great. The hotels, the houses we're in are great. The kids, they've been wonderful parents. Did some, you did a little bit of sightseeing here? A lot of sightseeing. We've been downtown. We've been to Millennium Park. We've enjoyed Chicago for real. So so it's really not what, what they say it is on the news, huh? No, nah, it's built up. It's, it's really built up. We, we enjoyed ourselves. I mean, you know, certain things going to happen in certain places, but no, nah, we, we ain't seen nothing crazy since we've been here. Okay. Now, um, back to when we get to baseball, tell me, how long have you had your kids together? This team has been together for two years, but the Big Cats started about 11 years ago with my oldest son, okay. and we just kept it going year after year, and it's a testament to the parents because they really do all of the work. They really did all of the um, fundraising and, and uh, financials behind getting these boys on the plane. It was a big event, and they stepped up, and I'm, I'm proud of them. Okay, uh, because I, I'm glad you went there because um, a lot of these tournaments that we have and a lot of summer programs, whether it's basketball, baseball, or football, um, it, there's fees and things like that um, involved in that process. Mm -hmm. um, explain a little bit of the ways that you all did a little bit of the fundraising so you all can get these kids out here in these show showcase tournaments. Well, basically, we start off um, with just our regular fees, like $300 just to play on the team. And then the parents went out there, and we had fundraiser and we did um the grasshoppers uh, that's a minor league club in our city mm -hmm. we worked the concession stands for them like six or seven times to raise a lot of money but the okay. parents really chipped in and did their part so you know we we, we earned about two or three thousand dollars in fundraising but for the most part the rest of it came out of their pockets so that's why i'm proud of them and i'm happy that they were able to you know, support us coming all the way up to Chicago. And get everything together. That's great. Right. Now, uh, tell us a little bit of what your role is on the team. I'm just an uh, assistant coach, and I just help out wherever I can help out at. All right, so what is the actual role of an assistant coach? Because, uh, you know, uh, this, this my show reaches a lot of high school players, college players. You know, we have people that, you know, in this game of baseball, everybody's not going to make the pros. So I like to tell the kids that it's always different avenues in the game of baseball that you can choose. You can be a scout, you can be an assistant coach, you can be an umpire. So tell them, you know, for somebody that might want to be uh, uh, looking for some other avenue, tell them the role of an assistant coach. Just the feedback off of your head coach and just make sure that you're following up under the head coach and what he needs done for the rest of the team. So uh, is that... Uh, a problem over here with the big cats because North Carolina, there's some egos North Carolina, and Jordan, did Jordan spend some time up there? You yes, know, sir. we yes, expecting yes. some egos out of there, but none of that on the big cats? None of that, none of that. No. And I want to bring in Pino, he back there, he back there recording, come on out here, Pino. Come on, coach. This is another one of our come assistant on, coach. coaches. These guys do a wonderful job of getting the guys ready. Get right come on, on over here. This is the gentle giant. What you got in your hand there? What you got in your hand there, man? Got that hardware. <laughs> Get that hardware? Oh, uh, yeah, that, that, I think that says champion. Let me see that. <laughs> Say champion, okay? Oh, now we got to take this interview. This, this interview just went in a whole nother different direction. All right, now, you the big man. You the one that takes all of the blame, all of the slack, all of the wins and the losses go on your record, correct? Correct. Tell me. How is that responsibility? Well, it's just, you know, at the end of the day, it's for the kids. So, you know, we take any flag from, from wherever it comes from, you know, and just, just try to make sure these kids are having fun, make sure they, you know, learning the fundamentals of baseball. And um, what you're doing is you're playing uncle, you're playing dad, you're playing motivator, you're playing babysitter all summer long. How is that? We do it all. Okay. So at the end of the day, man, He's head coach quality because he coaches football and some other things as a head coach. I'm head coach quality. We got Coach Dre who's with us who's like 
he sees what needs to be done next. So we don't have to do a lot of communicating. When he gets there, he knows what it takes to get the guys set up. So we really work good together. So I'm excited about the future. We're going to keep these kids together for about four more years, and we'll see. Okay, so as you being a head coach, what, um, if, any, if, if any way possible, what is your actual plans on getting better as a head coach from year to year? We work. Um, these kids work three, four days a week in season, uh, two to three days out of season. So pretty much it's the work ethic. When they say hard work pays off, that's, that's really true. So you see these kids, and they all get better as they grow up also. So if we keep them in the right program and we keep them active, they get better. So it's not really, we don't focus on the getting better part. We pick baseball because it happens in the summertime and it keeps these kids off the streets and out of, out of trouble. And it gives them something to look forward to, like traveling to Chicago, Orlando and whatnot. Yeah, because, you know, I played, um, actually, well, back in my day, we're not going to bring up those numbers for my Chicago <laughs> audience. Some of them know me. But um, the Satchel Page All-Stars used to be American Legion post-829. Right. Uh, those was the good old days, as I like to call it. So I've definitely played. Um, I've been in this game a long time. I did the college route. I, you know, never seen a far south uniform in high school, always been varsity. Right. So I understand, you know, trying to move up those levels. Right. But as an assistant coach, keeping these kids motivated and keeping them focused with a goal of either college, some might want to go to the major leagues. How do you actually keep, especially the younger kids, focus you know nine can only be on the field so you're always going to have someone on the bench how do you actually keep these kids focused and in the game it's it's tough at times but you know like i said they still seven eight years old but you know we always just keep them you know keep them rare you know keep them motivated you know you know get up off the bench you know cheer your team on um you know stay focused because you stay on top of them the whole game i mean you're always having some type of conversation to the ones on the bench or to the ones in the field so mm -hmm. it's, it's just a uh, it's it's ongoing it's ongoing. ongoing and keeping them motivated yeah and he's really great at that because sometimes i get in my mode and i get tough on him and i start you know getting on him and he he picks him right back up so after i finish getting on the kid for whatever mistake he goes right to him and get him motivated and let him see the bigger picture because we all want him to be successful but we still coach the game hard we coach him you know we, we coach him tough and that's the way i like it and these kids respond they they work for some hard coaches it's not like we just all over here smiling them kids put in work so i'm proud of them most you know most of all so